I honestly don't know which way this tree is going to fall. So I'll be honest, I'm now I'm starting to get worried. Should the tree come this way, you've got to run. Yeah. You know, you've really got to run. Hi guys, it's the HodgePodge 8. Um, all the kids are at school today and Andrew and I are going to my parents' house. We're going to, you tell them Andrew, what are we going to do? We're going to cut down a gum tree. Yeah, so my dad's got a really big gum tree at his place, it's dead. And so Andrew decided that he wants to cut it down <laughs> with his chainsaw um, and use it for firewood because we've got our little um, fireplace at home. So we're stocking up for winter, it's autumn now, so it's getting a bit cold, isn't it? Yeah. Just starting to. So um, I think Andrew's a bit nervous, are you nervous? A little bit. Yeah, so what are, you, what are you worried about, tell us? Well guys, the gum tree's probably 70 or 80 foot tall, and it's, um, it's dead. So you just, you don't know exactly which way it's gonna go. Yeah, even if you do the right cuts, Andrew's been doing some research, and yeah, even if you do the right cuts in the tree, um, if it's a dead tree, it can be quite unpredictable. So he's a bit worried about it falling the wrong way. <laughs> but that's that what right? life's about, guys. You take risks, huh? You've got to have oh, fun. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully you'll still be saying that once the tree's down, hey? Yeah, so fingers crossed it all goes well, it all goes to plan, and it falls the right way. So my parents are about 45 minutes away, their house. So we'll see you soon guys. So guys, we're at my parents' house now and here's the tree here that Andrew's gonna try and bring down. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting. There's the rope that my dad's put up and here's my dad here. I think he's gonna be pulling on the rope, guys. And Andrew's just there getting his chainsaw ready. Do you wanna say hi to YouTube? <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> I've just shown them the rope that you've got up there. Yeah. It's really high. Oh yeah, that wasn't easy to do no you used your um fishing rod did you yeah fishing nylon line with a uh, barrel sinker yeah and i only had one go well that was good and uh, i thought well i probably won't do any better than that yeah and then i tied the rope to it and pulled it up oh good oh well, hopefully it'll oh. all go smoothly so what's happening with your chainsaw, Andrew? Oh, I just thought I'd get the chain tension right. It was oh, a little yeah, bit yeah, tight. That's important. Yeah. <laughs> the chain tension was a little bit too tight. Okay. So I just thought I'd open it up and just get the chain tension good. Okay. So that it's so that you can get the right RPM, like the right revolution spinning on the chain. If mm. it's too tight, the chain can snap. Yeah. And if it's too loose, the chain can come off. Well, we don't want that happening. So you've got to have it exact, mm. which is where you're exposing three or four teeth. So if you look here, when you pull that out, you can see one, two, three, four teeth pretty much exposed when you pull out. Oh, okay. If you do it right like that, roughly. Uh, Andrew, do you think I should bring my car and tie the rope to the tow bar? Um, you're more than welcome to. But if you do that, I'm not sure if the car will move or not. But if you reckon you can. Well, the car might move. It, it, trees can but pull cars. It, yeah, it would, would, that wouldn't matter though, would it? I don't think so. I don't, I've never done it before. I've never, I've never tied a car to a tree. Um, <laughs> but what, see, I can't see the point of the rope unless you've got real tension What, just on to it. the tow ball and then would you have it, would you be driving it or would you just leave it parked? With no, the I just leave it part. Or, or you could say, you know, move forward once you've got a certain cut. Yeah, that okay. might influence. Sure. Mm. What I would suggest is what what I do is get this first cut in, yeah. and then um, then I'll come across the bottom, so it's basically ready to fall. Yeah. And then what you could do. You can get your car now and tie the tow ball to it. Yeah, and then what, what, what you could do th at that point yeah. is very, very slowly, and I mean like rolling just to pull tightness. Yeah. And, yeah. Then, and, then, and then you'd have to whack your handbrake on full ball, and you probably, yeah, I don't know, you might want to get out of the car, I'm not sure. No, I might sit in the car. Yeah. And then when you say, go, oh, I'll just drive a little bit. Okay. And see if that will sure. make... 
you know, you, you want it definitely over this way. If we can, yeah. If we can. Yeah, and sure. that, that's the only chance. You know, you can fluke it or I can have a bit of an influence. Yeah, sure. Okay, that sounds I'll, good. I'll get my car. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, guys, um, this is now going to be interesting because I was speaking to Lorna earlier today and she reckons she's seen videos where cars go flying across the grass. <laughs> I have to, no, well, not I'll tell flying, you what, I'm not, I'm not using my car for this. Oh, dear. That's a, right. that's, a, that's a two and a half ton, three ton tree. Wow. That, that weighs more than the car. It's so pretty big. I reckon so, it could pull it. Let's just have a look at the trunk here. Stand next to it, Andrew, so I can see, you know, show everybody how sort of wide it is and stuff. So you can see, yeah, it's quite a bit wider than you, I think, or similar. And so you've marked the tree there. Is that what you're going to do? It's just cut? a rough idea. Um, yeah. I'll probably go down a little bit lower than that. Okay. Um, so how many cuts do you need to do in just the tree? Just really two main ones. Two main ones, okay. So the first one we're going to cut out a wedge. Yep. And then the second one will come across a little bit above to create a drop hinge. Okay. And this will just fall that way, I think. Yeah, it should go smoothly, I think. I, I'd be very surprised. We don't even need the car, but I just thought, look, guys, let's have a bit of fun. For the fun of it. <laughs> let's, let's spice Make it up Make it interesting. A bit. Well, we've got a good view of Mum and Dad's house from here, guys. You can and see their way, house up there. This way, Grandpa can say he saved the day. He helped. Yeah, well, that's fair enough. <laughs> Okay guys, that's the first bit. Now we're just gonna go in and clean up the cut, get it dead straight. It's, a bit, it's about a third of the way into the tree. You're probably meant to go a bit less because the tree's dead. I've made a decision to go a bit further in with the wedge cut. that up a little bit. Now yeah, that's much better. That's much, much better. Ah, so Dad's attached the car now. So he's ready in position. All right, guys. So if you have a look there, honestly, that's as good as any tree lopper will do pretty much. Maybe they're a bit cleaner, but that's pretty much exactly what I need to do. So you're saying you're a pro? No, I'm saying now I'm getting nervous because the thing I noticed the other week when I came here, if you look at the tree stand back over here and mm. put it on and they'll see if you come across here more now guys look at that tree mm. come this way a little bit yeah it's That's it. it looks like it's leaning back you can see it's leaning backwards towards uh, the fence so <laughs> this, this is this is bloody dangerous if this falls that way yeah if this falls that way guys it could hit the trees and then it could come towards me so i honestly don't know which way this tree is going to fall so i'll be honest i'm now i'm starting to get worried but that's okay. That's part of life, guys. You've got to take risks. <laughs> if, I was to, if I was to go and pay money and buy all this wood, that much wood, it would cost me $3,000. Wow. Right? Or at least a couple of grand. So if this works, it's going to save us a lot of money in wood. There's 2000 bucks worth of wood well, there. Well, Andrew, maybe this means that Daddy's going to save the day. Maybe the car's what's going to well, make guys, the difference. Well, guys, if the tree goes the other way, that car's gone. The car will go with it. This is the other thing. <sighs> Look at this rope. Look at it. It is so flimsy. It's the rope, really the ropes, thin. If, if it wants to go the other way, the rope's just going to snap. It's just going to snap. You're it's right just going to snap. So what I want to do really is get to there. Yeah. I want to get to here, and I'm praying 
I'm praying that the tree doesn't fall yet. Why? Well, because I want to come to here and then use wedges to control it. I'll put a wedge here. Yeah. And a wedge on that corner, on that okay. angle. So 45 degree. Then if yeah. you've got the wedges yeah. holding it up, it won't fall backwards then. See, if I go and cut to here and then it just wants to fall, if it wants to go that way, I honestly think it just would. Yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah. And that's quite dangerous yeah. for me. Because yeah. if it gets stuck in these trees, it could fall back towards me. Yeah. Anyway, you've got to leave yourself a path. You know where you want to run. And Lorna, you've got to stay I'm going away. to be right over there. No, yeah, no, no. It's you, not going to go that way, is really, it? Really, you should probably... Where should I be? It's not going to fall this way, is it? Oh, Behind well, no, me? No, Honey, it could fall anywhere. It could anyway. fall anywhere at once. Okay, so where do you want me to stand? And see these branches? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They could come off oh, at yeah, any yeah, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And well, what if I stand right back near the fence then? Yeah, you've got to look. You, yeah, yeah, I'll be watching. Over I'll near be those watching. trees there, I reckon. Down there near the trees? Just here, just where these trees are here. Yeah, if you go okay, there, that's yeah. about as far from the tree as you get. That'll be okay. And then when it starts to fall... I'll move back if I need. Well, yeah. realistically, it won't get It's not going to reach that far? It won't reach that far? It won't. No. But, but, It'll come close. But be careful that you've got a track that yeah, you yeah, can move Yeah, yeah, I will. Move I will move. To. I will move if I have to. Okay. Okay. Now I've got to quickly mark. Okay. Now I've got to mark this line. All right, so Andrew's going to mark his next cut. And cut that and yeah. Now, this, this is the most important one, but you can just see the entire trunk is literally leaning backwards. Really? Like it's you just mm. you just you're hoping, you're really hoping with this, I reckon. Well, I think there's more on this side than that side in weight up top. You're right there. Oh dear. But, anyway. Hmm. It's just a matter of as long as I get it relatively straight, guys, as long as I get my cuts relatively straight, at least then I know. If I notice the tree's going that way, I just sprint in that direction. And if I know the tree's dropping forward, I don't need to worry too much because if it drops that way, it'll be controlled from the hinge. So it's not as dangerous. But if it wants to go that way, if it wants to go this way, the entire tree can fling out and smash you in the head like anything can happen. So it's all about using the hinge to your advantage, but <clears throat> anyway, we'll just you can't see. you be around when it comes down, Andrew. Yeah. Mm. That's it, good idea. Mark. So we've put the marks there. That's where he's gonna be cutting. Now, <laughs> like I said, this this tree does not want to go the way we want it to, so mm. good luck. Okay, well so the it's fence a bit might lower. be going <laughs> today. <laughs> it's not just a fence, it's your husband might be going. Oh dear. Okay, that seems a lot straighter to me. So I'm going to put in a wedge on a 45 degree angle here and a 45 degree angle around the other side. I'm praying that the the tree doesn't fall before that. Because if I can get to that stage and get these wedges in, that should control the tree and hold it in place. And then the car should be able to pull it and it should hinge and fall that way. The other problem is if I get to there and then you start hear, hearing the cracking, that means the tree's just going to go. And at that point, <clears throat> I think I'll just run in... in, 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 in a direction as fast as I can. Mm, I'd like to see that. I probably should have brought a helmet or something. <laughs> Alright, so he's starting to cut. Oh, starting to wobble, guys. Yeah, look at that. Starting to wobble. yet guys this is really nerve-wracking guys <laughs> so he's just gonna do one more cut okay so he's putting the wedges in guys go. hopefully these will help make sure it goes the right way should the tree come this way You've got to run. Yeah. You know, you've really got to run. I'll but run. you'll have time. Yeah. Because, you know, it's, I'll see it. You've got a couple it. of seconds. Yeah. And yeah, you yeah. Can... I'm sure I can be very fast if it's life threatening. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
So the wedges are in. The chainsaw's out of the way. So the chainsaw's safe at least. I'm going. <laughs> Dad's going to go and pull, um, drive a little bit with the car to keep that rope tight. And let's hope, guys, that it goes where we want. So the issue is, guys, what's going to happen, and I can guarantee you what's going to happen, the rope's going to snap. I'm confident. I might be wrong, but if the rope snaps, then we've got to go and get a thicker rope somewhere. We might have to buy one or whatever. Okay, here goes. Let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. He's going slow. Yep, here it goes. Crack. Oh. Oh, there goes the rope. <laughs> Andrew's prediction was right. Our rope has gone. Oh, and look at that wobble. Not good. Okay, Bill, we need a thicker rope. So I don't know whether Dad's got another rope that we can try. The second I got down here, I saw the rope and I just said to myself in my own head, I said, it's not... Just not thick enough. It's not a, it's not a tree rope. Mm. So Andrew and my dad are going to go and get some more ropes from the shed and I don't think they've got anything thick enough, so they're going to, I think, try and get two ropes and, you know, wind them together to make it thicker. Um, because, yeah, that rope just was not thick enough, which is what Andrew said as soon as he saw it, he knew that it wasn't going to probably be strong enough so but the tree looks like it really was ready to go it was wobbling and yeah it was almost ready it just yeah then the, the rope snapped so we'll give it another go and hopefully this time it'll all go to plan so they're back now you've got a rope Andrew this is a much better it's a braided rope Have a look. so it's actually braided it's mm. not just twisted and okay. uh, entwined it's 10 times stronger so okay. it's unlikely to snap but even these ropes can snap under high tension okay like arborists wouldn't use this all right but for what we're doing it should do the job what's going to happen is the top half of the tree a lot of it like all the top third at least a lot of the bits are going to snap and go like it's going to all bust bits are going <laughs> to smash and go flying everywhere so they got the rope over the tree guys that's it now we just tie the rope do you want to do a knot bill do you know a good oh. knot? Some sort of hitch or something? I don't know what you yeah, want to... Well, my knot would be... It would go up to there. That's what that, we want. That's what you want? That's why I've done it like that. It just needs to be some sort of locking hitch thing. So while we're here guys, look, you can see there, we've got the wedges in there in the tree. And yeah, it's cut all the way through, apart right. from, look, that little one inch there guys. So it's hard to believe that this tree is standing with, you know, just that. So I've set up Andrew's camera over here guys, his phone. I'm going to put the camera on there so that hopefully we get a good view of it falling if it falls the way we want I it to. i move that chainsaw out of the way. I don't want to wreck my chainsaw. Dad's just attaching the rope to the car. Okay. So Dad's moving. Oh, okay guys, it's moving. Oh, here it goes, I think. Oh, here it goes. Timber. the right way come on well done who's the man took a bit longer than we thought yeah. <laughs> let's go have a look at it so oh, here's the tree guys look at all the branches you can see how dead it was now like they just all snapped off so this is going to be really good wood well some of it is yeah some of it but look dead, all but... this guys look at this it's all this all this stuff all the smaller stuff mm. this trunk up here mm. What I'm going to do, guys, today, when we get back, we're going to go and have lunch, I think. And then when, if, the, if Lorna doesn't mind, I want to cut basically here. Yeah. I'll cut here somewhere. Mm -hmm. 
and then I will use, I'll take all that today. Oh, okay. That's, well, maybe I'll, I'll take you. half of that today and then have the other half ready to go. Yeah. And then I'll do this next week, I think. Okay. So we'll be able to take it all over the next couple of weeks. Oh, well, that's good. Look, guys, let's go have a look and see where it cut, where it split off. <laughs> see the hinge? Perfect hinge. Look at that, guys. Perfect cut. See where it snapped? Perfect cut. That was tough there. It dropped mm. exactly where I wanted it to, guys. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much. That yeah, was where no, we wanted to drop good, it. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. Yeah. For your help. Thanks, <laughs> Andrew. Hey, guys, guess what? I YouTubed how to do it. <laughs> Please subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube's been a great help, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> can learn anything from YouTube these days. So we think we go and have some lunch? Yeah, let's go have some lunch, And what guys. I can do when I get back... that lunch was so good it was delicious um, we're back at the tree now and we're going to do some cleanup Andrew and I are going to put the all the sticks into the ute here um, Andrew's gonna cut some of these branches here at the end and then we'll be back next week to get more but yeah we're just gonna get some of it today whatever we can fit in the ute <music> Hey guys, I'm a little less enthusiastic now because I'm pretty tired. Um, Lorna filled the ute. I've cut down basically the whole tree. So yeah, the, um, the camera pieces. battery died, but yeah, we got the ute full. We've just charged the camera enough to quickly show you guys. And then there's another ute load here ready to go. Inclusive of these pieces here. Yep. Which is all the medium trunk stuff. And then you can see here the main trunk. That's probably a full day's cutting. Um, it takes a long time to get through those and I have to cut at least probably 15 cuts through that. So that's going to take me two hours of hard work to get that. But there's another five ute loads worth I reckon so we've got to come back five times. Okay. And it'll last us this whole winter and probably next winter as well. So you're pretty proud of yourself aren't you? Oh, I think I'm pretty good. <laughs> So look guys, no more tree, all the branches, we've pretty much, yeah, we've got all the branches, didn't we? Yeah. So we've, yeah, stacked it there, so well done. Yeah, thank you. Let's head home, hey? I want votes, guys, out of 10, how good am I? <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys, see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh.